I want to go to Mars. At least that's how I think a lot of people are going to feel after seeing this movie. This is The Martian, and my thoughts going into it anyway. And it's the latest Ridley Scott film based off this, this fiction book written by Andrew Burr. At least I think that's his name. I could be wrong, but and anyway, I'm just gonna do quick thoughts on it going in. I can't. And for once, I don't have to say what my thoughts on previous films are, which is nice. But I'll just quickly talk about the book. First off, the book is really good if you have read it. If you haven't already, it's a suspenseful, engaging book, really well written with the comedy from the protagonist. Mark Watney just making poop jokes to, to like the actual science like the way he's describing like how he's surviving managing to survive on Mars like you really feel like you could do this at some point although I do feel like it does get a little too technical but at times like it gets a little too much into the sciencey stuff and I feel like in science class but overall it's still really good I mean this is the Apollo 13 of novels and from what I've seen of the trails, it seems pretty faithful. It seems like it's going to follow the book very well. And the positive word of mouth I've been getting from it is also really encouraging. My main concern is that I just... I have two main kind of nerves. One is just the fact what's going to get lost. I mean, I've read the book, so more, there's like a lot of... I don't know if they're going to change. and they're probably Stuff's probably going to get cut out and changed. And I'm worried that we might lose something that fleshes up the characters. I mean, Ridley Scott's been known for, like, like he already said, like, the original cut of this was two hours and 45 minutes. And a lot, with some Ridley Scott films, I've heard that, when the dire there's a lot of scenes that get cut, and the director's cut often is the one that is vastly superior because it makes sense. So I'm worried about that. I'm also worried that Ridley Scott's not doing this because it's a good story, but because it's similar to Alien. We have guys walking around in astronaut suits. I thought, I feel like that's why he's doing it, just so he can have an excuse to do that. And I hope that's not the case. I hope it's like he likes the story and wants to do it justice, because it is a really good story. And the other concerned thing that bothers me is that the trailers pretty much have shown the entire movie, which either means, one, they are just so confident in this movie that they're just going to show everything, but on the upper hand, then, there's the possibility that maybe they're nervous and they feel like they need to show the entire movie, which you don't. You could have just had the teaser be him walking around on Mars, and that's fine. But I mean, yeah, so I'm, if, I mean, I've read the book, so I'm fine, but like, yeah, like, I mean, so I was watching, I mean, the first trailer didn't ruin that much. I was watching this, when I went to see Black Mass, like, I saw the trailer, and it showed all the main beats of the story, and like, like, if you haven't read the book, you don't realize you're seeing, like, all the major beats, but when you're watching the movie, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, the trailers show everything. Yeah. Like, again, for me, I already know the story, so it's not like the trailers ruined anything, but for those who have it, I kind of feel sorry for them, because it's, again, if it's a really good movie on its own, it's going to be like, screw you, trailers for ruining. Financially, I'm sure it'll do fine. Um, the film's been, it, they've done a good job marketing the film. Like, most people I've talked to know about, I've seen trailers for it for months. It's been getting good word of mouth, you have a star, well, the director and star in it. I feel like it'll do fine. I think the bigger question is whether this or the walk is going to make more money this weekend. Yeah, but again, it should do fine, should be well-liked, probably is going to overshadow the book, like all adaptations do nowadays. And in regards to whether or not I'm going to see it, I'm still on the fence. I definitely want to check it out at some point, but I'm between this and The Walk, which also looks like it could be something and could be a major awards container, and I'm trying to do my Oscar homework, so I might go see that. But yeah, are you excited for the Martian? Let me know, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, and this is JSR60. And I'll see you guys on Mars. Until then, take care.